All right, so with the SAT coming soon, I thought I'd do a special video. So this is a problem that I think is really, really realistic to something you might see on the SAT. I know the SAT is always, you know, uh, bringing in new types of questions based on the experimental questions. And this is just like one of those types of questions that they've built on a foundational concept and made it a little bit trickier. So let's dive right into it. So it says a sample of a certain alloy has a total mass of 50 grams and is 50% silicon by mass. Okay. The sample was created by combining two pieces of different alloys. The first piece was 30% silicon by mass, and the second piece was 80% silicon by mass. What is the mass in grams of the silicon in the second piece? So to solve this problem, we need to set up a system, right? <clears throat> so what we know now is that the first piece and the second piece make up this certain sample of alloy. And so what we can determine is that the total mass, this is pretty much the only information we're given in terms of actual mass, is that the total mass of the alloy is 50 grams. So we can write 50 equals, and now we need to create some variables. Let's create it as x and y. So what we want to define here is essentially x is just the mass, total mass, important to note total mass of the first piece, and then y is the total mass of the second piece. But what we want to solve in the problem is the mass in grams of the silicon, only the silicon in the second piece. So how exactly do we do it? Well, we have to read in between the lines. It says that 50% of that 50 grams is silicon. So 50 divided by 2 is 25 grams. So we only have 25 grams of silicon in that sample. Therefore, we can set 25 equal to, well, what are our other given equations? Well, not equations, but variables. We have the first piece, which is 30% silicon by mass, right? So you know x is the total mass, and therefore now we only have 30% of that for silicon. So we got 0.3x, and now we've got to do the same thing for the second piece, which is 80%. So 0 0.8 times the total mass. All right, so now that we've got these two systems of equations, we go over to Desmos and plug it in. So we can see guys, we plugged it in here and we find the intersection. So this is our corresponding X and Y values. It says, what was the mass in grams of the silicon in the second piece? Number we labeled Y as the second piece, the total mass of the second piece. And so the total mass of the second piece here is you can see 20. So 20 grams is the total mass. This is the total mass, not the uh, silicon of the mass of the silicon right? To find the mass of the silicon in the second piece, we need to multiply it by that 80% factor, right? Because only 80% of that 20 grams is actually silicon. So 20 multiplied by 0 0.8 gives us a grand total of 16 grams of silicon. Therefore, B is our answer. All right, guys, so if that helped, make sure you subscribe and check out our other SAT math prep videos, and I'll see you in the next one.